when I did the lumbersmith sawmill video, you know, that was the first time I ever used it. Bought it from a guy, so I didn't have the benefit of putting it together. And I did a lot of stuff wrong, and so some of my boards are real wavy. Well, this time I'm going to uh, take what I've learned from doing some research and actually using it, and I'm going to cut up this uh, pine tree. This is the one that William Smith cut down last year to make room for our electric pole. <coughs> and I just cut it up into a 20-foot section and a 16-foot section. It's just been sitting there on some brick for uh, about a year now. So here's my uh, track. And this isn't where I'm going to keep it permanently, and this isn't very level, but just to saw this square, um, this will work. And so before I get into it, let me just talk about the track a little bit. So those runners are 4x4s with a 2x4 nailed on them, and then it's got a bunch of uh, pieces of 2x4 cut into, you know, 45 degree angles and screwed in. And that lets this angled piece ride. And as if you look, it's just some two by sixes. Then it's got some uh, plywood sandwiched in there. We cut them into little V's and screwed them in there. Um, this is the end that the motor is on. And so this is the end that the sawdust comes out of. And so it's a little V to funnel the sawdust into that hole and down into the ground, okay? And we'll screw that in once we get everything square. The other end holds the L-shaped piece, and um, a lot of folks use a 2x6 and a 2x4 and put the 2x4 on the inside and let the uh, wheel sort of butt up against it. I didn't do that because I was following the manual um, and put the uh, L on the, on the outside, which if I had to do it again, I'd probably do it with the 2x4 and let the wheel ride on it. But uh, that goes on after I roll this log up here, right? And... Uh, so what I'm going to do now, I'm hot and sweaty. I'm about to take a break. Um, burned up my skill saw just a second ago. I'm going to work on that for a little while. And then uh, I'll finish this track and roll this log up here. And, and we'll show you how to uh, use the sawmill correctly. And it's a function of keeping the blade sharp, tension properly, and letting it cut itself and not pushing. When you push into it, uh, when it gets hard to cut, what you do is you make it wavy. And... Uh, I get impatient so I've got the log on the uh, rails and it's pretty much centered up I still have a little bit of tweaking to do and I've got to um, uh, secure it so it doesn't want to move if you're not careful when you're using a bandsaw mill especially once you start getting stuff cut up and you get that log a little lighter it's going to want to catch in the teeth of the blade and shift on you so you have to uh, secure it and that's why I keep all these boards here so I have something I can screw in. I um, also want you to notice, like all trees, or most trees, the root end is thicker than the top end. Down here, the widest part is 17 inches. On the other end, the widest part's 13 inches. And so what I did is I raised it up a little bit on the other side so that the heartwood, the center, is about on the same plane, right? Um, as we cut, we run down the track, it will, uh, it will cut it out level um, in relation to the blade. So if we keep the centers on the same plane, it will uh, square up a lot easier. You notice my log is, is oval and not round. And there's, a, there's an ugly spot there. And what I did, even though it caused a little bit extra work, is um, I put, put it uh, where the ovoid is, is facing upwards. That's because the bandsaw mill can only cut so wide. And if I cut it out, cut this piece out now and square it up, it'll let me get a bigger bite when I cut these sides. If I flipped it over the easy way, I wouldn't be able to cut very deep over here because it would catch in the uh, sides of the bandsaw mill. And, and I know that's probably not clear. You'll have to probably see it in action. So uh, basically all I've got to do now is, is tap my rail in place, make sure that that lays in smooth, screw it in a little, and then put my uh, L's over here up against these uh, two by fours that are screwed into my four by four, and then secure that log so it don't move, and then I'm ready to cut. <laughs> 